welcome to this video you guys and in this video this is going to be a video something i've never really done before and that's showing off two things one is a blu-ray that i bought and two is my actual blu-ray collection the blu-ray that i'm going to be showing off is this baby right here star wars the rise of skywalker it just came out today march uh 31st that's today tuesday and uh yeah i know this isn't everyone's favorite star wars movie right here got definitely sort of a mixed reaction uh people were kind of a, really upset about this one got a 54 percent on rotten tomatoes me myself i thought even though I thought there were some of the story decisions were just flat out a bad idea, I thought the movie still had enough good stuff going for it, enough emotional moments to where, as the end of the Skywalker saga, I thought it worked pretty well, and overall it was a quality movie. And like I said, as the end of the Skywalker saga, I thought it was fine, personally. And really, I'm far from sort of like the biggest, like, hardcore 10 out of 10 Star Wars fan, so you have to really fuck up for me to get mad anyway, something like The Phantom Menace. But anyway, that's just me. So when it comes to this Blu-ray, you'll notice that this isn't really sort of like a typical like blu-ray sort of package this is sort of the weird target exclusive booklet kind of thing they got going for it right here got this at target you can only get it at target they do this at target sort of like a weird sort of booklet type thing and the reason i got this is just because the regular 4k cover uh just looked like total ass it was really lazy it was just they used the poster art it was like an x-wing staring down a bunch of star destroyers i know that sounds cool but to me it just looked kind of lazy i wish they just used a sort of regular uh poster art that they use for the regular blu-ray cover you didn't get that with the 4k cover so out of all the other options i'm not really sort of a big steelbook guy i was just like you know what i'll just get this one because it used this poster was actually kind of cool it's reminiscent of the original 1977 star wars poster they sort of mimic that for that, that kind of fan service so that's why i went with this one overall it looks pretty solid it's a little big i've never really gotten these before but like i said the cover itself i thought was cool different from the other star wars covers just because you look at this one the Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, oops, came in sort of like the regular packaging. The cover for The Force Awakens was so damn lazy. It was such a big movie, and to go with a cover like this, I don't know what they were thinking. The Last Jedi one actually looks kind of badass. They use sort of the regular poster art, uh, and that looks really cool. I love it. I wish they went with something like this for Rise of Skywalker, just using that regular packaging art. So yeah, overall, this looks kind of solid. It comes with sort of a weird sort of like gallery book and stuff like that. So overall... You know, comes with you what, what you want to, but I got it mainly because of the cover. You got to have a good cover with your Blu-ray. Now, when it comes to actually my Blu-ray collection, I know Blu-rays are sort of coming going the way of the Dodo right now. Me, I've been collecting Blu-rays for years. I got a big Disney collection. I got a big sort of Blu-ray collection sort of overall. To me, there's nothing better than sort of a nice sort of like Blu-ray display. So I'm going to go ahead and show it off real quick for you guys right here. My Disney Blu-ray collection right here. All of this is on my desk. I've had this desk for years since about like 2004. I've been collecting Disney Blu-rays since 2013. And I put them right here just so I always have this sort of epic Disney legacy staring right at me. All the stuff I've collected over the years just great stuff now as i said disney blu-rays and physical copies are going sort of the way of the dodo thanks to disney plus which you'll see right there on my tv uh yeah it's a great service unfortunately it's sort of rendered sort of disney blu-rays sort of useless just because all the movies are pretty much already on there me though i'm kind of old-fashioned so i love having a nice sort of physical copy and just sort of that display looking at you it's just great stuff that's why i'm gonna keep on collecting disney blu-rays and just blu-rays in general until they just flat out stop making them but in terms of how this collection sort of divided up the top left you got regular disney right here regular disney animation everything from snow white all the way to moana regular disney i have ralph bix internet and frozen 2 also although i didn't have room up here and uh yeah i got pretty much everything now this one right here isn't a blu-ray the sword and the stone this is a dvd i never got the blu-ray for it i'll get it eventually so it just doesn't stick out like a sore thumb but like i said i got everything i got the old school stuff all that stuff I got your 90s stuff, and I got all your new school stuff from recent years right here. Now, right here is where you got your Pixar stuff. I got all the Pixar movies except two of them, two of the worst ones. I don't have Cars 3. I was just kind of meh on that one. And then The Good Dinosaur is by far their worst movie. That was just yuck. So I was in no rush to buy that, and I probably never will. So, yeah, Pixar movies are pretty damn fantastic. That's why I got most of them. I got some of the sequels uh, down here that didn't have room for up there. Where you got Cars 2, Finding Dory, Incredibles 2, Toy Story 4, that stuff on the bottom right here. Now right here is the stuff people really sort of get into when it comes to collecting and that's the marvel cinematic universe uh yeah i got all 23 movies everything from iron man 1 all the way to spider-man far from home 
sort of debatable whether I should have the Spider-Man movies on there, just because those are technically Sony movies, Homecoming and Far From Home, but they're still part of the Disney Marvel Universe, so what the hell, I'm going to keep them on there. Yeah, great stuff, love looking at that epic story legacy right here, going to keep on getting them. Hopefully they release Black Widow, just sort of, if they're not going to put in theaters, let's put it straight to Blu-ray, so I don't have to double dip and buy it on demand and then get the Blu-ray. Then after that's where you get your Star Wars stuff. I got all the Disney Star Wars movies except Solo. I was just never really crazy on that one. I was just kind of mad on it. So that's why I never bothered to get it. But I got all the Star Wars stuff. I got the prequel trilogy. I got your OG trilogy. Uh, obviously, Disney didn't make those. But it's still part of the Disney family. So that's why they put them right here. Then you got The Force Awakens. You got The Last Jedi. And you have Rogue One. Which I definitely loved Rogue One. That's why I got that one. And you got The Rise of Skywalker. Which will be joining the family right here pretty soon then after that is where it gets a little bit random uh you got more live action stuff pirates of the caribbean absolutely love pirates of the caribbean specifically the first three those three are amazing movies the fourth one was kind of ass the fifth one eh, it was decent then right here is where you get more live action stuff where you got enchanted that was really good and you got mary poppins it was those were two fun live action disney and uh live action classics and then right here is where you get sort of sort of a special section i call this the disney live action cinematic universe where it's all sort of their live action remakes i got most of them you got alice in wonderland maleficent this is in a chronological release order uh, maleficent cinderella jungle book being the beast christopher robin even got dumbo aladdin and the lion king the only one of these i don't have is maleficent mistress mistress of evil i did like that movie but i guess i was just like you know what that one i will wait for disney plus just because i already have the first maleficent i don't have to get the sequel on here so yeah that's pretty much everything in this section right here regular disney pixar marvel cinematic universe star wars uh live action stuff and then your live action uh remakes of animated films some of the sort of random stuff that i didn't have a room for that i sort of put up here this is where i got oh wait i'll mention that's where Ralph breaks the internet. I put that right here. Some of the random stuff up here, though, is you got Frozen 2. I didn't have room for that right there. Uh, unfortunately, this one is on Disney Plus already. They sort of did it to sort of help with the social distancing. I guess that was nice of them, but it was all like, God damn it, let's just bought this. Now it's on Disney Plus already. Now I got some of the sequels, the Little Mermaid sequels, Aladdin sequels, Cinderella, Fantasia 2000. For some reason, I bought extra copies of Snow White, Beauty and the Beast, and Bambi, even though I had them already. I guess I like the cover that's why i got them you got your nightmare before christmas you got tron legacy oz the great and powerful and what's behind here the rescuers the three musketeers leroy and stitch good stuff right there now that's the regular that's my disney blu-ray collection everything that's right here in terms of sort of the non-disney disney stuff the collection right here this is sort of all of it right here it's not as refined or sort of organized as it is right here but right here is sort of where you've got sort of the big blockbusters from the recent years big blockbuster series like fast and furious you got transformers star trek Planet of the apes the x-men movie legacy you got the dc cinematic universe everything up to shazam and you got sort of the monster verse godzilla kong uh kong uh king of the monsters and just sort of more random stuff right here and then up here is where you have some of like your classic stuff with jurassic park titanic original batman titanic I already said that, goddammit. Uh, your Nolan stuff with the uh, Dunkirk, Inception, uh, Interstellar, Venom. That is not a classic. <laughs> you got some of my movie collections. I got Rush Hour, Raimi, Spider-Man, Dark Knight Trilogy, Indiana Jones. Uh, some of the Disney DVDs that I have that I don't have room for down there. More classic stuff. Your Tarantino stuff, Pulp Fiction, all the way down to Django, uh, John Wick, La La Land, Rango, Grinch, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's sort of my collection right there, just to show it off. Take a lot of pride in the collection, building all of these, so I just wanted to do a video where I sort of show it off. Uh, definitely my Disney stuff is my pride and glory right there. I love all that stuff. So that'll do for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed, and thank you for watching.